Hello all, I am Vignesh and welcome back to my YouTube channel Cloud and AI Analytics. Hope everyone are doing good. So in this video, we are going to see how to use Python API as our client library to interact with Google Cloud BigQuery component called Dataset. So in my previous video, I have explained you how to use Python API client to interact with BigQuery table. If you have not seen that video, I'll give the link of that particular video in this description section. Please take a look at it as well. So uh, we are going we are going to learn more about what are the different functions, different methods available in Google Cloud's BigQuery dataset component. So without any further delay, let's get started. So I am into my console now. So this is the console, uh, my BigQuery console. I have, you can see I have already four data sets here. So I'm going to create data set from the scratch. I'm going to do everything from the scratch itself. So these are the functions which we are going to explore as part of this particular video. So all are the basic things. In upcoming videos, I'll explain more complex functions and the other concepts of uh, BigQuery API client as well. So we are going to see how to create data set, how to create table, how to list data set, how to label the data set, how to get the data set, how to get label of that particular data set. Finally, we are going to see how to delete data set. So create table, I'm going to use in this function, get underscore data set. So since I'm doing it everything from the scratch, I have not, I'll, I'll be not having table inside that. So I have added that functionality here. I have created that function and I'll be, I have explained it. I have given it here. So if you are, if you think that function is, that uh, table is already present in that function, you can just skip this line or you can just comment this line and you can go with it. So yeah, we'll start it from the beginning now. So first we are going to create data set. So my data set, whatever the data set which I'm going to create, it will be in US East one. Basically, I'm going to create a regional data set. So this is the function. So I'm um, client, um, the project ID, and this is my data set name, learn demo underscore data set underscore GCP. So just execute Python, BQD. First, I'm going to create data set. Like data set name is learn demo underscore data set underscore GCP. So data set has been created. You can go here and you can cross check. Learn, it will start with learn and it ends with GCP. So here you can see, learn demo data set underscore GCP. Here you can see like the data set ID, uh, when it got created, default, there is no expiration date, last modified, and the data location is US user, and there is no description, there is no default collation as well. So the next thing is I'll comment this out and I'll list the data set. For this, we don't need to go there. Everything we can see it from the console itself. So totally we have five data set. Demo data set, GCP, demo data set underscore GCP, demo PY underscore data set, learn demo. So this is the one which you are going, which are we are creating and which you are currently working on. So we will comment this. And the next thing is label data set. So what, what, what are we going to label here? So we are going to label learning data set with me so with weakness so i'll execute this command so the data label has been added so you can go here and you can see there is nothing so just we refresh this page once and we'll be able to view it yeah here you can see learning data set with weakness and what are the other all the other default parameters and now we'll command this out and we will get data set. I have already explained you what is going there. So I'll just clear it and I'll execute this. So here you can see the data set got data set table and the table is this one, the demo table, which we created tables of demo table. Go here, refresh this page once and you will be able to see demo table inside that there will be no data related to it, but you can see the schema of it learn demo set and you will see it like demo table and you can just query there will be no data so you don't need to worry about it but you will be able to see the schema name gender count that is because our create table has that functionality so once this is done like we will comment this out and we will get data set based on the label like we are going to pass the label id alone so what is the uh, label associated to the data set. So you can see learning and learning data set with weakness. And finally, we are going to delete the data set. So that's it. 
we are going to execute it yeah data set has been deleted here go uh, just go to this console just refresh this page once and you will be not able to view learn data set so that learn demo underscore data set is just gone so here you can you can also see not found data set that respective data set is not found and you can uncomment this all those things and that's it you can take this piece of code and you can use in your project or in your use case as well just i'll going to clear it that's it so i'll give this particular piece of code in the comment session as well so that's it for this um, video i hope you learned something new from this video if you have any questions or any doubts please post that in the comment session please do like comment share and subscribe to cloud and ai analytics please and don't forget to press on the bell icon i'll see you in the next video with more interesting content related to cloud platform until then it's bye from witness and happy learning